Ever wondered if your eating habits are doing more harm than good? Or perhaps, you've been hearing a lot about organic food but aren't quite sure what the fuss is all about. Welcome to the organic debate, a topic that's been simmering on the back burner of our collective consciousness for quite some time now. You see, our food choices aren't just about satisfying hunger anymore, they're about health, sustainability and the environment. And organic food, my friends, sits right at the heart of this conversation. So, what's all the buzz about, you may wonder? Well, organic food is grown without the use of synthetic pesticides, genetically modified organisms, or petroleum-based fertilizers. This means it's not only better for our bodies but also for our planet. Organic farming promotes biodiversity, conserves water, and reduces soil erosion. It's a win-win situation, really. But hold on a second. Not everyone's on board the organic train yet. Some folks question the nutritional superiority of organic produce. Others point to the higher price tags often associated with organic foods. And then there are those who worry about the authenticity of organic labels. Valid concerns, no doubt. Let's break it down. Yes, organic food can sometimes be more expensive, but it's also a long-term investment in health and environmental sustainability. As for nutritional value, while some studies suggest that organic and non-organic foods are nutritionally comparable, others indicate that organic foods may contain higher levels of certain nutrients. The debate continues. And what about the authenticity of organic labels? Well, in most countries, organic food production is regulated by government bodies, which means there are strict criteria that must be met before a product can be labeled as organic. So in general, you can trust those labels. In a nutshell, the organic debate is a complex one filled with varied perspectives and ongoing research. But one thing's for sure, opting for organic is a choice that reflects a commitment to healthier living and a more sustainable world. So are you ready to venture into the world of organic food and experience a new way of eating? Knowing how to select organic food is the first step in your journey towards a healthier lifestyle. Let's dive straight into the nitty gritty. When you're in the supermarket, surrounded by a sea of fruits, vegetables and other produce, how do you choose the best organic food? Well, the first thing you should look for is the label. A label that reads certified organic means that the product is made of at least 95% organic ingredients. It's a guarantee that the food you're buying has been grown and processed according to strict guidelines, such as no synthetic fertilizers or genetic engineering. However, be wary of labels like natural or all natural as they can be misleading. Unlike organic, these terms aren't strictly regulated and can be used freely by manufacturers. So, when in doubt, always look for the certified organic label. Next, pay attention to the quality of the produce. Organic fruits and vegetables often have a more vibrant color and a fresher smell compared to their non-organic counterparts. Don't be put off by a few blemishes or an irregular shape as these are often signs of a naturally grown product. Now let's talk about local farmers and farmers markets. Buying organic food directly from these sources not only ensures that you're getting the freshest produce, but it also supports local businesses and reduces your carbon footprint. It's a win-win situation. Most farmers are more than happy to answer your questions about their farming practices, so don't hesitate to ask. Lastly, remember that organic doesn't always mean healthy. An organic cookie is still a cookie. Always consider the nutritional value of the food you're buying and try to maintain a balanced diet. Remember, the key is to know what you're buying and where it's coming from. So, arm yourself with knowledge and make informed choices. Your body will thank you. Once you've selected your organic food, the next step is to store it correctly to maintain its freshness. Now you might be thinking, how different can it really be to store organic food? You'd be surprised. Firstly, let's talk about temperature. Most fruits and vegetables thrive at cooler temperatures. Your refrigerator is an ideal place for them. However, some, like onions, potatoes and tomatoes, prefer a cooler room temperature. So don't be in a hurry to shove everything in the fridge. Now let's discuss airflow. If you've ever noticed your apples turning mushy or your lettuce wilting, it's probably due to lack of airflow. Store these in breathable bags or containers to keep them crisp and fresh. Next up, we have the often overlooked aspect of storing the separation of produce. Fruits like apples and bananas release a gas called ethylene that can cause other produce to ripen more quickly. So, keep your ethylene producers separate from other fruits and veggies. Another key point is the storage of grains. 
Grains, such as rice, quinoa and oats, should be stored in airtight containers in a cool, dark place. This helps to keep them dry and free from pests. And what about those fresh herbs? Wrap them in a damp paper towel and store in a resealable bag in the fridge. This helps to maintain their freshness and flavor. Finally, let's not forget our proteins. Meat, poultry and fish should be stored in the coldest part of your fridge, usually the lower shelves. And eggs? They are best kept in their original carton on a shelf, not in the door where temperatures fluctuate. Remember, organic food doesn't contain the preservatives found in many conventional foods. So, it's important to store it correctly to ensure it stays fresh and retains its nutritional value. That's why these storage tips are so crucial. Proper storage not only keeps your food fresh longer, but also helps retain its nutritional value. So, let's make the most of our organic produce and enjoy the health benefits they bring. Now that we've got the selection and storage down, it's time to prepare your organic meals. When preparing organic food, it's important to start by washing your produce thoroughly. This will help to remove any residual dirt or natural substances that might be on the surface. And remember, even though organic produce doesn't have synthetic pesticides, it may still have natural ones, which also need to be washed off. Next, let's talk about cooking. The way you cook your food can significantly impact the nutrient content. For instance, boiling can cause water-soluble vitamins like C and B to leach out. So, for vegetables rich in these nutrients, consider steaming, grilling or eating them raw. For other produce like tomatoes, cooking can actually increase the availability of certain nutrients, like lycopene. Another aspect to consider is the use of oils. When cooking at high temperatures, reach for oils with high smoke points, like avocado or coconut oil. These oils can withstand the heat without breaking down and releasing harmful substances. Now let's touch on a crucial topic. Minimizing food waste. In a world where one third of all food produced is wasted, it's essential to use every part of the produce. For instance, broccoli stems are just as nutritious as the florets. The same goes for beet or radish greens. They're packed with nutrients and can be used in salads, stir fries or smoothies. Often overlooked, the peels of fruits and vegetables are also full of nutrients. So the next time you're peeling a carrot or a potato, think twice. If it's organic and well washed, consider leaving the peel on. And finally, always keep in mind that the timing of your meals is just as important as what you're eating. Consuming your meals at regular intervals can help maintain your blood sugar levels and prevent overeating. With the right methods, you can ensure that your meals are as nutritious as they are delicious. Ready to take the plunge and try organic meal planning for a week? Organic meal planning can seem a bit daunting at first, but it's actually quite simple once you get the hang of it. It's all about making conscious choices and being aware of what goes into your body. To get started, you'll need to plan your meals around your organic produce. This might mean making some adjustments to your usual meals, but it's a small change that can make a big difference. Think about the types of meals you usually enjoy and how you can incorporate organic produce into them. For example, if you love spaghetti bolognese, consider using organic beef and fresh organic tomatoes for the sauce. Now, let's talk about a basic meal plan for the week. For breakfast, how about a bowl of organic oatmeal topped with fresh berries and a drizzle of local honey? Lunch could be a vibrant salad made from a variety of organic vegetables, topped with grilled organic chicken. For dinner, Try a hearty vegetable stew made with organic root vegetables, served with a side of crusty bread. Snacks can be as simple as a piece of fresh fruit, a handful of organic nuts, or a yogurt made from organic milk. Remember, the key is to keep it simple and let the natural flavors of the organic produce shine through. Once you've planned your meals for the week, make a shopping list and stick to it. This will help you avoid impulse buys and ensure that you're only buying what you need. Lastly, don't forget to prepare some meals in advance. This can save you time during the week and ensure that you always have a healthy organic meal ready to go. Don't forget to share your organic meal planning experience. We're excited to hear about your journey towards a healthier lifestyle. And remember to hit the subscribe button and give us a like if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.